over here on the channel, we are no strangers to absolutely wild backstories. Like just off of the series that we've covered, we could make a pro tag tier list solely based on how much the plot screwed them over. And it wouldn't be hard. But folks, the manga we're about to get into, bruh. Let's just say the plot beat the pro tag down like he owed it money. Within the first chapter, my man loses his parents, his close friend, and his whole damn home and it all happens on the eve of his 17th birthday. His birthday, bro. So without much further ado, let's talk about this wild manga you might have missed, Night of Abyss. Before we get into the story though, huge shout out to the creators of this manga for giving me the okay to talk about it. Stay tuned because later on in this video, I'll go into how you can support the creators and also own a part of the series, which is pretty freaking dope. Now, onto the wild shit. So this story takes place in a fictional world called Abyss. On the ancient island of Hope, a place that's been hidden from the world for centuries, we find our main character, Knight. Now, Knight starts off as your usual shonen pro tag. He gets random visions in his sleep, he has a knack for waking up late, but what makes him different, and this is kind of sad, is that he has both his parents. So you already know they gotta go, bro. We, we can't have a shonen pro tag with both their parents. They can't be happy in life. Anyway, after his mom tells him off for trying to blame her for waking up late, he heads out to fight in his village's annual tournament. But this story holds nothing back. As he's on his way to the tournament center, we see a bunch of goons from an unknown faction in the process of invading the island. And their leader? Some badass menace named Atalist. Now this is already wild because the Island of Hope has been hidden for centuries. How the hell did these guys just walk in? On top of that, security in here is trash because it's one thing that you guys walked into this place, but nobody's looking at them weirdly. They're just kind of on a rooftop watching Knight as he's on his way to the tournament. So Island of Hope, I'ma need y'all to bolster your security because this, this is just sad. Anyway, back to Knight, he greets his father, enters a tournament where he fights his close friend Natasha, and homegirl Natasha, we only see her for a little bit, but solely because she's a master of the hands. You know I fuck with her heavy. And she's not just all talk. In the tournament, she actually beats Knight. Sure, yeah, he was distracted because his parents weren't watching him and shit, and he didn't go through his amazing protagonist growth arc, but I don't even care. You show me a character who's only about the fisticuffs and then they beat the main character, I gotta be down for them, bro. They're like my favorite character right now. Anyway, after the beatdown, homegirl knocks Knight out. He wakes up to Natasha and his parents wishing him a happy birthday, which is nice, but plot kicks in and ruins everything. Remember those guys who were watching Knight go to the tournament? Well, Knight's mom finds out that they are setting off bombs all over the island. Father comes confused because how do they get through the abyss barrier, but they don't have time to worry about that right now. They send Knight and Natasha to go handle the people invading the island. So the duo pulls up along with Knight's father and they start bodying the invaders. And I've been waiting to get to this part, people. The art in this manga goes crazy. Like the character designs already go crazy with shit like Knight's super futuristic armor. But nah, you can really tell they put a lot of effort into making sure all these action scenes really hit. One of the things that first caught me about this story was the art. Panels like this, the volume cover, seeing all this before actually getting into the Night of Abyss story, I thought it was a mainstream manga or anime coming out. So when I found out it was an indie series, bruh, I was honestly left speechless. The quality is superb and it just goes to show that you should never sleep on indie titles, bro. Anyway, after they body the bad guys, they return to Knight's mom and she informs them that the invaders got to the temple. Now, I don't know what this temple is, but apparently it's pretty damn important because Knight's father's like, shit. We gotta activate Protocol V. Now, I don't know what Protocol V is either, but it's looking like a Hail Mary play to make sure they don't get whatever's in the temple. With that, Natasha and I separate to go handle more of the invaders. We follow Natasha as she heads home to check in on her parents, but guess who's already at her crib? Atlas, the person leading this invasion. And this menace is like, yes, bitch, I killed your mother, and soon, you and your father will be joining her. So Natasha is obviously pissed. She's about to get her My Family Die power up. But sadly, there are two factors that she forgets about. One, you're only a side character right now, Natasha. I'm sorry. If you try to fight the final boss now, you will lose. And two, do you not see the Black Air Force energy oozing off this man? Dude looks like Yujiro Hanma with locks. So she tries it. She tries her best, bro. She tries kneeling him in the chest, but this man just takes it. Then he proceeds to destroy her guts with one punch. 
So Natasha, she done, she's down for the count. And right after this, Atlas finds out that they have the package they need and the last thing they're after is the boy. And I think we all know the only boy they could be talking about here is Knight, the protagonist. And as if on cue, homeboy pulls up with a vengeance, bro. He's about to get the you beat my best friend power up. And this man, Atlas, with the meanest scowl is like, that girl Natasha was trash. Let's hope the awakened one proves worthy. But before they go at it, Knight's dad pulls up with the rocket launcher, blasts both of them, and grabs Knight and dips being like, son, that man will body you. We out. They return to Knight's mom and both his parents are like, bro, you got a dip? now and it turns out it's because his parents know that knight is the awakened one however knight doesn't seem to know that yet and for whatever reason atlas gaining access to knight being the awakened one is really really bad and it's already bad enough that they got the package they're looking for from the temple so to prove just how dire the situation is knight's mom knocks him out puts him in a ship to escape and together in an effort to stop the invaders from leaving the island alive they blow the whole place up like, I'm not talking about a simple, like, section of the island. I'm not talking about, like, a little village within it. They blow the whole island up, people. I don't know what the hell was so important that they had to blow the whole island up. But if you want to find out, you're going to have to read the manga for yourself. So, thoughts. I would say if you're into dark action series with cool people doing cool ass shit, this is a story for you. Like I said before, the art goes crazy, the action panels look fierce, and the plot kicks off immediately like you have no room for rest. But that part also serves as a double-edged sword. I like that we jumped right into the plot, but I think that all would have hit way harder if we had just one chapter. Focus on Knight's relationship with his family, with his friend Natasha, and with other people around the village. But that's just me. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. Also, for those who want to read the manga for yourself, you can find that link in the description below. On top of that, what gets me really high for the series is that it looks like an anime is on the way. They already dropped the trailer and people, this shit looks clean. Like if you thought the art was amazing already, just watch the anime trailer, bro. You will be pleasantly surprised by how good it looks. And through the platform we funder, you can support the creators by investing in their anime, essentially owning a part of it yourself. And all your investments will help maintain the quality of each anime episode. But yeah, once again, if you like Night of Abyss and you want to read more, check out the link in my description below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment what other manga, comics, or stories you want me to cover like this. And if you have an indie title in mind or just a title that's underrated, please let me know because these videos, recording these videos on things that people may not really know about has been really fun. Of course, huge shout out to all my guildmates on my newly established membership program on my site, the Don't You Verse.com. Depending on which tier you join in the guild, you can gain access to exclusive manhwa, manga, and anime reactions, permanent merch discounts, and a bunch more perks. So if you want to support the channel and become a guildmate, head to the link in my description below. With that being said, be easy, stay lit, stay healthy out there, Black Lives Matter, and don't forget, you can do whatever the hell you put your mind to. All it takes is practice and time. Peace out, y'all.